how do you feel yeah how did you feel when you came to know that you will be entering the big boss house um i don't know i had very mixed emotions first of all i was not expecting that this is going to happen next so right now i'm thrilled and excited but i had very mixed emotions maybe i wasn't prepared initially but yeah i'll get prepared once i'm inside how excited are you to do this show with the salman khan Yes, that is the excitement. I'm really uh, excited to be sharing the stage with him, to be interacting with him, doing a show with him. Um, I think maybe this was my calling at this moment and hour. So I'm very thrilled and excited. He's our favorite all the time favorite. What does Big Boss means to you? I don't know if I can go give a definition, but uh, I'm quite thrilled. uh because a it was unexpected and i like things which are not very very planned and i didn't plan this um having said that definitely now there is some uh, planning which you require when you go inside which is just mental preparation and your physicality and overall you have to in sync with the thing right now so i'm still uh, getting along with that uh, vibrancy um I I am quite at I don't know if I'm at loss of words I would just say that I would wait to be inside and see how it is and change the perception because there apparently there is a perception about uh, the reality show and big boss the controversial show or whatever though the dimensions and the definition has changed in last 2 3 years uh thanks to pandemic uh like it has changed the perception about ott so likewise it has changed the perception about this so it's become more of an entertainer or show than just a fight show or any other show can you please talk about the experiences and the journey mm -hmm. and that you traveling from such a far land to now at the big boss house oh it's been quite a journey though i've just begun my journey i've just taken my baby steps i finished my internship and i was doing my junior residency and then that's how i got shortlisted and then my debut film happened and cut to uh, you know i i went to los angeles to study acting at uh, lee strasberg and new york film academy then pandemic hit and uh, ott happened and then this happened and to this so I'm still just getting there and um, my work is just starting to come out now and while I'm inside I really worked hard on two three shows last entire year and it's going to be out like in fact a show is releasing today Kar Me Odan Disney Plus Hotstar please must watch that uh, my another show is coming it's called Country Mafia on Z5 around 14th October I'm watching out for it because for that I had put on 14 kilos and while i was shooting for that my shoot was clashing with karma yodha so there was a huge transition and i had just finished for ratanchal 2 which was on mx player it released in february so from that to country mafia we were shooting all together it was so so difficult for me as an actor but it gave me a good experience learning experience because of transition and b because of the amazing ensemble star cast i got to work with just at the starting of my career i couldn't have asked for more they were too deglamorized roles because that's what i wanted to do so i'm i'm just uh still working hard on a lot of things then my uh, thank god is coming out where i have done a special appearance it's the bali release and one or two more things which will surprise you in coming months and the biggest surprise is this big boss so i have so many things to talk about and to in sync with yeah so Can you please talk about your dance performance, which is going to dazzle the audience? And mm -hmm. and one more thing, do you think this is a testament to your entertaining prowess? Uh, yes, for sure, because Big Boss has that kind of reach and audience and uh, say uh, frequency. So the parameters of this, they actually take you to by default to the audience's heart. so at least i will reach to everybody where people have not been able to see my performance so far as an actor as an entertainer performer at least they will see me as a person here and that could also be a route to reach to their hearts because ultimately we all want to be loved we all want to be acknowledged and uh, keep your love coming in uh, so yeah final message for the fans Yeah, and I, wait, wait, wait. About the performance, I'm really looking forward, and I think uh, I've worked really hard for it. Um, I hope you guys like it. It's gonna be a sensational one. Final words. Yeah, 
final message and the message to the audience and people that i worked hard to be here it wasn't a cake walk and um, i definitely need your support and people who know me thanks for your love who don't know me who would just know me after this i need more and more of love and support from you because it wasn't easy whether studying whether going to la or being here and i come from a very normal conservative middle class family so for me uh, coming to big boss having this kind of perception in public or whatever is a very brave step हालांकि मेरे दिमाग में कोई परसेप्शन नहीं है बिग बॉस का बिकॉज लाइक आई सेड कि दो तीन सालों में परसेप्शन हैज चेंज बट फिर भी मुझे लगता है कि इट्स क्वाइट अ थिंग बिकॉज वी एक्टर्स आर वेरी इमोशनल फ्रेजाइल ब्रिटल पीपल वी आर वेरी सेंसिटिव फॉर लॉर्ड ऑफ इन इन लॉर्ड ऑफ कैपेसिटी आई वुड से सो yeah i mean we are very selective of what we choose to show to people uh, but i thought in today's time the more real you are the more closer to people you are the more you are loved and i'm here for that journey so i hope uh, everything goes well and i get a lot of love from you guys whatever love you've showered on me so far my journey has just begun and i'm going to go to another um, milestone if i get uh, i'll reach another hit milestone if i get more love from you thank you thank you